may tend to add, this is adding a two-digit number to a one-digit number, and this is an introduction to regrouping. This is lesson 8.6. Making a 10 can help us add a two-digit number and a one-digit number. We can add them together. We regroup the ones to make a 10. So here we have two tens and seven ones as 27. That's one group. Then we have six ones. That's another group. We can break the six ones into a three plus three. We can give these three to this seven to make another 10. Now we have, instead of two tens and seven ones plus the six ones, we have one, two, three tens plus three ones. Here's what we did. We made a ten here with ten ones, so now we have two tens, ten ones inside of our circle, and the three ones that are left over. We know that ten ones makes one ten, doesn't it? Now we have two tens and one ten and three ones. Two tens and one ten are three tens. We have three tens and three ones. That means we have 30 plus 3. That equals 33. So our initial problem, our initial number sentence, the one we had in the beginning, 27 plus 6, is the same thing as 30 plus 3, and it's equal to 33. We regrouped them. Instead of having two tens and seven ones together, and then over here having six ones, we regrouped the ones and we made a 10. See? Let's try it again. We've got 38 in this group and we have 5 in this group. We can break that 5 apart into a 2 plus 3. We can give the 2 to the 8. Putting them together is going to make a 10. Instead of three tens and eight ones, we now have three tens and another 10 that we made by grouping these together. We made a 10. We have three tens, four tens, and three ones. See? We have four tens and three ones. That's 40 plus 3. That equals 43. So our initial problem, our problem we had in the beginning, 38 plus 5 is the same thing as 40 plus 3, and it's equal to 43. Let's try it again. Here we have a group of 59, and we have a group of 4. We want to add them together. This 4 can, we can break it apart into a 1 and a 3 and give that 1 to the 59. If we're at 59 and we count on 1, 59 and one more, 59, 60. We give that 1 to the 59 and make a 60, and now we add the 3 that is left over from the 4. We have 63. That means our initial number sentence, 54 plus 4, the one we had in the beginning, is equal to 63. We just took 1 from the 4, gave it to the 59, and made a 60. It now became a 3. We have 63. Let's try another one. We have 72 plus 9. The 9, we can break it apart into an 8 plus a 1. We can give that 8 to the 72 and make an 80. 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 72 plus 8 makes 80. That makes 8 tens, doesn't it? We have 1 left over from that 9. 80 plus 1 is equal to 81. And our initial problem, the problem we had in the beginning, 72 plus 9, is equal to 81. We just regrouped some of the ones here and gave them to the 72. Let's try a word problem. Emma puts 17 toy cars 
and eight toy trucks in a box. How many toys did she put in the box? So the first thing we need to do is figure out what they're asking of us and how we can solve this and what information we can use. They're asking how many toys she put in the box. It tells us she puts in, see, puts in 17 and 8. The word and in between the 17 and 8 tells us that it's being put together. That means we need an addition sentence. We're going to use the 17 and the 8, and it's going to be an addition sentence. Then we'll put them together to find out how many in all. 17 plus 8, we can break the 8 apart as a 3 and a 5. We can give that 3 to the 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. That makes two tens. That makes a 20. We have 5 left over from that 8. 20 plus 5 is equal to 25. So our initial problem, the one we had in the beginning, 17 plus 8 is equal to 25. Let's try one last one. There are 34 goats in the field. 30 of them run to the barn. How many goats are still in the field? So let's look at this carefully. There are 34 goats in a field. Can you picture that in your head? 34 goats in a field and there's a fence and there's grass. 30 of them run to the barn. How many goats are still in the field? That's what we need to find. How many goats were left behind that are still in the field? So our clue words are run to the barn. 30 of them run to the barn. That means they went away from the ones that were in the field, didn't they? So we need a subtraction subtraction sentence to show they went away. So we have 34 as our minuend minus 30 as our subtrahend. We can use counters. We have three tens for 30 and four ones. That makes a group of 34. We need to take away three tens, don't we? 30 means three tens. If we have three tens and four ones, and we take away the three tens, if we take away the three tens from this one, the only thing that's going to be left is the four ones, right? We have three tens and four ones, 34. If we take away these three tens, the only thing that's going to be left are the little four ones. So the answer is four and four what? Four goats. Okay? So you can use models, but remember, we can break apart a number to regroup it to make a ten. Okay? Our next lesson is use place value to add. We're actually going to use tens and one place value to help us add numbers, okay? Lesson 8.7. Keep practicing your addition and subtraction facts. And I'll see you next time. Bye.